set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Dunwall citizens, the Ascendancy Circle has chosen T. Martin to be my overseer. Let us all... So, Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty is. Bah! I... You're part of this rabble, but I know you... Sorry, sir. No. Not Rex. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellect. I hear you're off to the boil's little bash tonight. You'll know him. A rather... Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask in yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.
That's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers yeah, were passing. Nice. They had one of their, you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized... When I find you, it's gonna be bad.
Oh, I have. Last year, Waverly flew Invitation, please. And we slipped in after the Estermonts canceled. Well, it's an ill wind. I can't let so you in without an invitation. Strict order. Yes, they're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we need to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. Oh, there went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those dresses. Invitation, please. Let's play and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would? And we'll go inside and make right this way, sir. About Emma style, or lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the boils ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win again. Look at that mask. Sick bastard. Another party game. Are you going to be playing the Boyle's game? I hear the whole second floor is off limits tonight. Too many guests walking off with their valuables. The party's indoors this time. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just uh, hires You smell like the streets. Think you've been get your slumming own it, have you? After what happened last night? Did Chances you hear about there. Mrs. Brimley? You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street. Oh, hello, I'm Ella. Enjoy the party. If you can. Lord Shaw's still outside in the garden waiting, but I think Pendleton's staying away. He's not half the man his brothers were. What can I get for you? Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Welcome to my party. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. What most people don't remember is... Did you see old Shaw loitering outside? Before the Empress died. Then he's waiting for the Pendleton. Excuse me. Some of us will be great. The Boyles, at least. Now, now. It's just luck they found crystals on their land. And that we can't make the rat lights without them. And we can't get rid of the rats. Rat lights and whale well. Excuse me. Yes? Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's dead. 
damn cold tonight. Hurry up and let's see what you're made of. The contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at on will. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stand right there. Face away from your opponent. What are you playing at? Look away from Lord Shaw. Three. Two. One. That's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top the chances point. are very good. Welcome to the cold boil night, state. sir. Warmer indoors. <clears throat> oh my, that's. I trust you are on the guest list, sir. Evening, sir. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. I'm not Indeed. here for conversation. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors. Her name is Lydia. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your fa- Hold on, I need a cigar. What a deliciously sinful mask. Trust you're behaving yourself. Doing all right there. We found out what the whales could do when it made us an empire. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. This is the beginning of the golden age. Excuse me a moment. No guests past this point. You there, move along.
Are you trying to guess which one is which? I was thinking of sneaking upstairs. <gasps> Scary mask. You look like you're up to no good. <laughs> 